So today what we're going to look at is how to do the kettlebell snatch. Now we covered the swing and you want to get really good at the swing first before you consider doing the snatch. But once you, you are really good at the swing, having a snatch in your arsenal um, gives you more options. So the kettlebell snatch is great because it allows you to, to use an overhead range. Um, so you have to stabilize with the arm up, um, which forces you to do a whole bunch of different things. And um, it works on your thoracic mobility, your ability to stabilize and, and different things like that. Um, the other reason I want to cover it is because I just know people get excited about it and want to do it anyway. The way that I teach the snatch is um, by teaching people the three phases that they'll go through. So you'll see a whole bunch of different things where people will do different ways of snatching. This is one that's, that's, uh, that is, in my opinion, the most logical uh, biomechanical way of doing things. I know people who do different different styles of snatching, uh, and obviously if you're doing your voice ball with a different outcome in mind, then that's um, that's obviously going to be quite different. But for people who are doing the hard style snatch, they're doing snatching for strength conditioning, they're doing it for, for an outcome that's not their sport, um, as in the snatching is not their sport. Uh, this is a nice biomechanically sound way of doing it. Now Steve's going to have to cut this up a lot because I've been waffling and going around in circles, but that's okay because I trust him. So, the three phases of the snatch. All right, you've got your overhead position, which is shoulder down, standing nice and tall. We went through it with the press and with the, with the carry. It's this space between your shoulder and your ear. The next position, which I'll, I'll shift to this arm, is going to be with my arm across and hugging my rib cage, my shoulder down away, and my hand is as far away from my body as I can get it while my elbow is still, uh, still touching. So I'm not out to the side here, I'm not, not doing this. I'm actually, if I come down into my swing position, it's that same swing position, but just with my hand coming up. So my, I'm on my rib cage. So that's the second position. The third position is here in the bottom, which is exactly like a one-arm swing. All right? So when you snatch, you go to the second, to the third position, and then on the way back down, you rush to here and rush to there. So I'll show you a couple in real time so that you've got an image of it. But essentially all I'm doing is swinging and then going through the next two positions. So you've got one, two, three. Okay? Two, three. So if you can rush between those positions, you'll find that you've got a nice powerful movement where the bell's not coming out and jerking on your shoulder but it's just going quickly through. There's one additional nuance, is when you punch, so when you come from this position and get into that top position, you don't want to punch straight up, you want to punch to about 11 and then let it ride in. But essentially, if you're good at swinging, you've got your hip snap, you keep your elbow attached, and then you punch to 11 and let it ride. And that is snatching in a nutshell. 